Good morning, boys and girls. I have a new book that I've been anxious to share with you because it's just such a good one. It's called Home in the Woods. And it's the true story of a family that was struggling in the Depression, um, which was a time in America in the 1930s when many people were poor. Um, and in this family, the father had just died. So the 34 year old mother had to take care of eight kids and figure out how to feed them and clothe them and give them everything they needed. So we'll find out how they, how they do. Here's a, a picture of the family. And this is my family. Let me try to read it to you. Mom, B, this is me. Her name is Marvel and she's six. Mary, Rich, Ray, Ava, and Dal. Dad lives with the angels now, and we need to find a new home. Summer. Deep in these woods, we find a shack all wrapped in tar paper. It's hot outside, but the shack looks cold and empty, like I feel inside. You never know what treasures we'll find, says Mom. In the shack, we don't see any treasures. There's a rusty oven, a dusty shelf, a pot-bellied stove, some box springs, which are part of a bed, a wooden table, some empty crates, and that's it. Lowell and Ava do find a door in the floor, and below it is a root cellar filled with old glass jars a tin pail, a pile of rags, and a pitcher pump that goes up and down, up and down, and out comes a stream of cool, clear water. So at least they have a source for water inside. It's outside Excuse me. This place will do fine, says my big, big brother, Ray. But it doesn't seem like much of a home to me. I, outside, the ground is a blanket of rotting leaves. Dell and B dig underneath to find soft, dark, rich soil. The seeds from our garden can go here, says B. When the crystal rains fall, our seeds slowly take root. Some treasures take a little time, says Mom. The songs of the happy frogs echo through the trees. The woods are a tangle of birch, poplar, pine, and sugar maple. 
Marv finds the secret paths of white-tailed deer woven all around. The paths lead us to a twisting trout creek, an empty beaver lodge, and a blooming berry patch with sweet jewels of blue and red. We fill our pail, Mars hat, Ray's bag, Lowell fills his empty belly. Our laughter echoes through the trees. Autumn. Cool winds come and spice up the air and fill it with rust and ruby leaves. Mom walks into town to do chores for pay, so we take care of chores at the shack. Rich writes them on paper slips that we draw from a hat. Split wood, pull weeds, pick veggies, hang clothes, wash up, Sweep some. We fill the glass jars with mum's berry preserves and the harvest from our garden. We'll save them for winter and stack them in the cellar like buried treasure. And you can see all the veggies on the table that they're canning. Preserving in jars. Back at the shack, we invent a new game, General Store. We can buy anything we want. Rich is the banker. Marv pumps the gas. B sells fine hats. Lowell is the jeweler. I display mud sweets. Our laughter echoes through the trees once again. Winter, the days are dark and bitter winds blow. Ray and Marv truck out to hunt for food. A bee huddles in the lamp's glow. Mom teaches her that scraps of fabric put together, make colored patchwork of a quilt. I huddle by the warm stove. Rich teaches me that letters put together make words, and words put together make stories. Most days, Ray and Marv return from their hunt with nothing at all, but tonight they are proud and tall. We plunder our stores and Mom works the oven like magic. A feast for kings and queens at the forest, says Rich, and they have baked beans, bread, wild turkey stew, and blueberry pie. all of which they caught and made.
Snow falls in a blanket of diamonds all around the shack. The jack pines way, sway above us as we fall asleep close together. But mom stays awake into the night, whispering to the stars. Spring. After many months, warm, fresh air comes pouring into the shack. The cottonwoods are all in bloom. Me and B carry mum's loaf bread and blueberry jam to the neighbor's farm. They fill our pail with milk and our hat with golden eggs. So they're trading. We, are, we go slow and careful on the path home. B calls out the flowers' names. Wood violet, dwarf iris, pink lady slipper, pitcher plant. The songs of happy birds echo through the trees. Here in these woods, I find my brothers, my sisters, our mom and me marvel. The shack all wrapped in tar paper looks different now, warm and bright and filled up with love, like I feel inside. Okay, what a lovely book and a true story. All right, take care till next time. Bye.